Well, the thunder knocked me off. So, that's a good sign <laughs> for us to um, start fresh. So, we're going to start the video fresh. This video is talking predominantly on spirit versus soul. It's speaking on directly the reflection. Why a lot of you guys are seeing 1111. It's going to talk on the specifics of a spirit and a soul. I think we get confused when we start getting into numbers. So we're going to now start making this simple. Zero and one. I had a list up. I'm making the list go by by. I'll put the list up later. got to understand this. See, trying to do the other video, keeping in mind all the dogmas and the things that you guys have been taught, but I, we got to let it go. And I'm about to really just show you the concept. When you make a sound, okay, it's going to, some say spiral, right? So it's just going to be endless, all right? If this is endless, then let's call this just a wave. Waves just pushed out. No object to contain it. So then this makes you ask the question. If a tree falls in the forest and nobody hears it, does it make a sound? We're not answering that question. This is for you to understand that sound never truly or soul soul is a reference to sound all oh. the soul can never enjoy its own sound or symphony if it doesn't have musical instruments to play its pitch to play its sound the soul would be the song the spirit would be all the instruments use to produce that sound what are these spirits now this is when we have to get into what's important the soul is the movie script now who are these four actors what are the first thing line okay so when you get a line right this is now stepping outside of its sound and producing its own action or degree or point if you were to go like this you produce what you call a 90 degree and then boom oh so you guys are about to see something deep okay all right so this now becomes one part or one division of the soul or prime creator. All right? And then we go here. Then we go here. And 
then we go here. Bullseye. X marks the spot. Now, because you know the prime creator or soul <clears throat> needs to be able to emulate its ideas. Air. What do you get in air? You get birds. Planes. Why? Buy, sell phones. This is what you get in air. I know it's a little small, so I'll just say it, you know. But in air, you get birds, planes, Wi Fi, cell phones. Just smoke. The, f the smoke that's emitting off of the candle I have. Air. Okay. This, in my opinion, is how you get what we would call the mental body. Okay. And we say this, and why I have we come to this conclusion? Well, the mind sits elevated. The mind is one of the higher organs within the body. If it's anything that would connect to air, I would have to say it would be the mind. This is when you start understanding the four frames of you, the four directions of you, okay? All right, so now if we wanna understand what else is a reference to air, I'll say south. Doesn't Santa Claus fly through the air? So we can now say um, south, which now can give us Satan, because it's not like the reference to the red man or, or Odin. That's probably the better reference of it. So south, okay. We have another body. We would say this would be, let's turn it, water, All right? And these are spirits. I need you guys to understand that. The soul is in the middle. The soul is the fuel or the purpose or uh, the, if you are familiar with a sigil, um, the spirit would be the sigil. The soul would be what it is that you are creating the sigil for. All right, so we're in our water state, okay? Now, in my personal opinion, I would consider water to be connected to what you would call the etheric body, all right? So we put etheric body over here. Etheric body, ether. Okay? Some would say that that should flow with the fire element. I would disagree. I say once you connect with ether, ether the ether is in the water, the ether is in the unseen waters or abyss all around you this is the etheric energy water evaporated all this stuff this is where your memory is all right and if you don't understand or learn these sciences you won't be able to use this information so it's important for you to know which point is what so then you understand how these things work if you want to okay you say that you feel like you're losing your memory have you ever wonder how much water you're not drinking or how dehydrated you are or even the type of water that you're drinking you must question 
these things when certain things are connected. Now, why do I also say that memory is connected to water or sperm? DNA, liquid. Okay, so um, we we understand what what operates with <laughs> um, water, fish. Okay, fin like infinity. All right, fish. Well, isn't Christ connected to the um, Pisces or the fish? They call him the the, the fisherman or, or something like that. So Christ, so we could even put Christ underwater. Didn't he get baptized in water? Christ is also connected to an energy we call Marduk. Okay? And he used to live on uh, or rule a planet called Mars, which is a heavenly plush water based planet. Okay, so we could start breaking down some of these little hidden secrets they have amongst these different deities or gods based on which polarity or angle. It's all about polarities and angles. Prime Creator broke up itself in four emotions, four expressions, four spirits. And these spirits are reflecting all these other principalities or ideas. So, we keep going. So we have our air, all right? So, water, all right. That would be a good question. Where would water, um, which polarity would you assume water to be? We'll leave that alone. I can't, um, uh, I can't assume that yet. Um, keep going. All right. We're going to now go to, let's see, Earth. All right, so I'm going to write Earth on this side. So Earth's over here. I oh, know this is terrible, but we're getting it. Y'all we, we, we can figure it out. Okay. Earth represents the physical body. Okay? Physical body. All right? Why? Because we are literally made up of the elements of Earth, all embedded literally within the skin of us. So Earth. So Earth would be a representation of physical body. So when you want to hone into um, this element, you have to connect with physical bodies. You know, that's why I have a butterfly. Connect with physical bodies. You know, um, connect. This is a seashell. Connect with physical bodies to connect with these polarities of these elements. Um, because really, it also breaks down to key chakra points. Third eye, heart, solar plex. I'll probably spell that wrong. Throat, chakra. This is what it's all about. These, these four. These four are literally governing the existence of you. So if you can divide these four into polarities, which is what this is about, then we can control and govern more things connected to you. So Earth is a physical body. Um, and these are the four bodies that they say that you consist of. We're not done yet, but they say you have a mental body. They say that you have an etheric body. They say that you have a physical body. And then here's our last one. We have an emotional body, all right? And I'm gonna break down what these are in a second. Emotional body, all right? This, in my opinion, has to do with feelings and desires. I know you can't see it, I'm doing this more for me. So in your fire element, this is more based on your feelings and your desires. All right, so now that we kind of have a template, fire. This is your kundalini energy. How are you sparking your coolant? See, now I can rant, you know. Sorry, this is boring as shit for me too, but I need you guys to at least understand the basis of how this works. These are also directions. I can't tell you which elements go with which directions yet, but you can actually go on Google and look up uh, the directions and what element connects literally to the directions. Um, 
but they also connect to the cycles of the day morning noon afternoon i mean morning afternoon noon night uh like all this is connected into the four stages or the four parts of you all right come on let's let's stay focused and then i'm gonna put this down i'm gonna talk kundalini energy your kundalini energy is coming up okay from your feelings and your desires emotions okay ghost this is when the Bible says the dead will rise because you are now pulling up the different ghost emotions of you. Past lives, now you really believe in past lives because you fucking can remember some of the emotions. But now you're going through the transition of remembering the different trials and errors that you've experienced here on this planet, other planets, and even just here on this life. The, the emotions and feelings of the hard-ass life that you went through here on this planet is manifesting and it is now fueling this. So now you start to turn, okay? And you're turning the different angles or dimensions because now this becomes a cube, and this becomes a cube, and this becomes a cube, and this becomes a cube. So now this becomes like a Rubik's cube in a sense. Um, and then you're just the different emotions and angles until you can come back to yourself and complete yourself. Uh, the Rubik's Cubes was a symbolic connection of you being scattered in all different hues and colors and as you need to arrange your colors or angles back to the position so you can get back to this chart. Alright, so uh, emotional body would be ghost, physical body would be you, um, and just like the earth, okay, goes through a sun cycle and a moon cycle well, because your physical body is connected to the earth element, your body is going to go through physical cycles. You're either going to wake up in the sun and go to sleep in the moon or vice versa, depending on, you know, which polarity you gravitate to. Um, okay. Uh, the Christ energy with the water, that's a very interesting connection. But this would be ether, okay? So this is symbolic for you being able to, to subdue your fire or to, to subdue your emotions. To, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. These are templates. This is showing you that your water can help subdue your fire. That you can actually use your water, a.k.a. spirits or a.k.a. DNA information or memory. Remember, that's what we said uh, etheric means. So you can use the memory, okay, of being able to subdue your emotions. Now we've got to ask the question, oh, that seems simple. I should be able to use my memories to get over myself. Well, when you die, quote unquote, or uh, just get taken out of your physical egg or body, you are then stripped of your memory. You're not stripped of your emotions because the emotions dwell within the heart chakra and you can take those with you. Um, but they do strip you of the, it's, it's kind of like, um, okay, you've seen this concept. You have a heart. Well, you can't, and even when you get heart transplants, it's very ugly. They, they, they don't last too long. It's a very hard concept. Um, but you, you take the heart out of an individual, it's hard for them to exist. But the brain, you can wipe the brain out. People have these different comas or these different uh, systems that, that wipe the brain, but they still can live out a life. Heart is a whole different template. So they can't really tamper with the heart as much as they can with the memory. Okay? Um, and... And, and this also has to do with technology as well. But your memory, all right, has to be able to be in alignment with your emotions. You have to remember, you have to be comfortable within yourself that you can subdue things that you've experienced once again or once before. Um, or even realize that some of the people that you have outside of you are the way for you to be able to subdue potential things that you're going to come across yourself. But we're so closed-minded or so in tune with things that um, dictate our tone. Tone, okay. Uh, and then the last part um, would be air sign, okay? And this would have to do with uh, your mental body, all right? Now, you would think that that has to do with your memory, but, but no. This is your mental body. This is what you would kind of call your um, higher self, okay? And your mental body has... Okay, your mental body has placed itself in a cocoon. Okay, it has placed itself in a cocoon and it has emerged itself in many different ways, shapes, and forms. Um, the 
mental body has been cut off. And this is why you have a trinity. This is why we now are connected to a triad uh, system and not a quantum system. We're in a 3D world um, and not what you would call a 4D world uh, dictating um, what comes next. But um, basically you have been stripped of your identity and this would be mental body. So your mental body would be your identity. Okay, so when they say that you have four, that's why I said I want to put this stuff away so I can now talk. So if you say you have four selves, you have a mental body, okay? And what did we just say the mental body was? Yeah, I got it. I'm, 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 I like integration, interaction, just so I know that y'all yeah, with me. So what did we say the mental body was? Go back to that one. Okay. So then we have the uh, physical body. You know, you have that here. Uh, you have the emotional body. That will be the ghost. And then you have uh, the memory body. Okay. And that would be your um, mind. All right. So. Let's, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. I don't, I don't think y'all quite like it's it's the you're four you're four people you're four things okay what stays on earth mammals what stays in water fish what dwells within fire You want to the animal connected to that? Leave that on. What flies in the air? Birds. Okay. So, fire <laughs> is not really um, more of a body. It's more of a template or, or a, a light source. It's what fuels the other three energies. All right, let's talk about um let's talk about light. Okay? Light. I'm sorry. Y'all just, you know, bear with me. We are getting there. Light. <laughs> okay. Do you know what light is? If you had to define light, could you make a definition of what light is? Most would define light as, you know what? Let's Google it. Light, the natural agent that stimulates sight and makes things visible. Light, the natural agent that stimulates sight and makes things visible. So without light, you would not be able to see. And if you were not able to see, then you would have an inability to be able to understand what, where you are, or potentially who you are. What, where, or who you are. Without light, you potentially do not have the information of yourself. Can we agree on that? Light is a direct reference to information. Light. Light 
is infused within dimensions. These dimensions have nine realms. Two of these realms have been split or destroyed and embedded within us. You have people of the sun, you have people of the moon. These are those two dimensions that we seem to not want to include. We say seven is such a divine and perfected number, yet nine is the number of completion. Seven truly is a divine number because this is when you can make a turn for yourself. You can make a 90 degree angle. You can love yourself or you can lose yourself. And indeed is a divine thing. So if we understand that light is a reference to information, where there is the light of the sun and there is the light of the moon, there is the light of death and there is the light of life, we should know which beings on this planet are beings of death. Those will be the ones that are not beings of life beings of death and represent and are connected and are born of a moon cycle and born of and in the age of the moon cycle and was not born of and in the age of the sun. The sun represents light. The sun represents life. The sun represents information. So now we must ask the question, if light equals information, then what would be false light? I think it's safe to say false light would be misinformation. It is easy to say, I am light. No difference in saying I am. But what follows? You are what? False light is something we must be aware of. These are people, these are things that are emulating and articulating that they are a light source, but do not have information of themselves. These people proclaim to be light workers, but haven't used their own light to work on themselves. If you don't have the information of yourself or cells, cells are prisons, prisons for spirits. You are a container, a container of spirits. Many spirits dwell within your container or containers or dimensions or chakras. You have nine chakras. These nine chakras are connected to the seven physical realms. We no longer have nine physical realms, we have seven physical realms. And these seven physical realms are embodied within you. Why are they physical? Because they are inside of you and you are very physical. Hi, seven seals. Hi, seven keys. This is you. Now the question is, can we unite the other two cycles, the other two dimensions, the lost worlds? One sitting to the left of us, one sitting to the right of us, one sitting above us, one sitting below us. Can we unite the things that has to split itself up into the things I was trying to explain to you earlier? These things that have emitted themselves in states or cycles. <clears throat> what is connected to what we will call our light or sun cycle, once again, would be life. It would be light. You can look for the words in or an. That is a direct connection to the light cycle or sun cycle, like the word angel. The light cycle 
has to do with numbers, one through nine. And as you engulf the sciences of these numbers, you would then start to develop more realms and creations. Remember the best time of the year, we say spring. We love how things spring into action. We love how things spring from the dead. This is a direct reference to what we must now embody, the springing of oneself, the lifting of oneself. There are things that of course are connected to the moon cycle. We understand energies like Lilith could potentially be connected to the moon cycle. We know things like demons could potentially be connected to the moon cycle. We know that zero could be directly connected to the moon cycle. Why do I say this? Well, if you ever look directly at the sun, it literally looks like a star. I don't know if you've noticed it, but it has a cross. It emulates like a, a light source out. So it actually does not look like your simple spiral that you would imagine or they show you in films and things like that. It actually, if you go look with your naked eye, it emits a cross. It is the moon that is your circle. And oh, do we praise a full moon. And what happens during this full moon? Everything out in the world gets loud. People get angry. Dogs start howling. Wolves start howling. Noise. Sound sound is made at night the sound the demons the ons come on at night fall winter like we said connected to these death and moon cycles okay so it's important for you to become aware of your own light and your own information because if you're not careful you will be living in someone else's false light or false information. And not only about themselves, about you too. Because they're trying to tell you what you need to do or who you need to be. And they're not aware of themselves of who they are or what they need to do or what they need to be. Someone brought up this topic and was angry because I um, charged for my services. Um, not asking if I ever offered free sessions or if um, I even deserve the right to charge for a session. They instantly judged without getting details. And I explained that in life, it is important to find balance. If I spend all day and night making videos, doing free sessions. Odds are I would become homeless. I would not be able to sustain myself. And these people, most people, aren't willing to hold accountability for others as they shouldn't. You have accountability of yourself. So it's easy to leave someone where they are. And if I wasn't to balance this with my life, I would have difficulties in life. Because I'm able to balance this in life, I'm able now to allow what it is that I love to do, help individuals and still sustain myself in a sense. This is balance. This is what you would call balancing the dark with the light. I was in darkness at a time. I started this group and I did free stuff for everyone and I was getting eviction letters. I had teeth issues, I couldn't even fix my teeth. I had so many problems, it was crazy, but I didn't care, my heart was in this. So I said, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna stay forward and keep pushing. I was in darkness, and I figured out a way to get myself out, like information. I used the information of services, of gifts, of sessions, to be able to sustain myself in this dark place. I was able to control and handle this darkness. I was able to control and handle a dark situation. What does darkness do? It absorbs light. It learns. 
this darkness has not, and this darkness is you. This darkness has not been in a state, or I have not been in a state where I couldn't sustain myself. I have, I was six years old working. So I've always made sure I was sufficient. So this was truly darkness of oneself or selves. We had to work together to figure out how to change this template. So it's important for you to balance one's darkness or one's insecurities or one's doubts or one's worries or one's frustrations or one's chaos within oneself. Because then you have the ability to use that to, to your advantage. We work together with these energies. We work together with literally the energies of yourself. Um, I think, I think, um, we can get ready to conclude. So, people want to understand, what, okay, here we go, I'll, I'll drop some secrets, I'll drop some jewels. That's what we want, some jewels, we'll drop some jewels. There have been beings that did escape um, what you would call nine physical realms. And they produce their own world realities, if that's what you want to call it. Um, we explained that the sun cycle and moon cycle has to do with numbers. The moon is a reference to zero. Okay? The sun is reference to one through nine. So when they say that darkness rules the light, they're right. Because zero would represent darkness. And we are in a dimension of what? Zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four. We understand. So because the zero is always emitting the frequency that comes next, we will always be in a state of darkness until we have mastered the completion of all nine realms or all nine selves together. Can't be eight. Eight is connected to time. And then, okay. Imagine if we can have everything we could have ever imagined in the world. We spend enough time as humanity, as civilization, to literally figure out any and everything we can ever imagine. We will be bored. And this is what happens time. As we keep putting more mass and more attention on time, we won't just get we won't get what we want. We would only get what I want. And what I want can get boring. It's only oh so much. I can imagine. I can think. I can speak. I can act. That's why it's important for us to now unite so you can take your experiences and your emotions and combine them with my experiences and my emotions and we can create something beautiful. You call that a child. You call that what? Creation. I call that a planet. I call that a world. I call that a body coming from a body. Why is the sun heating up? Because we're entering our sun cycle. We are no longer allowed the zero frequency to emulate or govern or dictate the dimensions of ourselves. We will now take in control and end up allowing the one to be the frequency to govern then the one, which would be the 11. We will take back, it's called singularity. They want you to run from singularity. Singularity is a representation of one's own command. The singular system of oneself. Here is the secret science of how you can control this mental illusion that's submerged in your face. You see this reality not through the two eyes that you have 
here and through a third eye or an artificial eye. This artificial eye has been placed within this soul chakra, the, th the third eye or the, the mind chakra. And this is now governed by your thoughts. Well, your thoughts have been misled and tampered with and often erased. So it's easy for information or deity to dominate this part of you because you have to logically break down everything that you see. And it knows this. But if you were to take this eye, this third eye, this artificial eye, and place it within the heart chakra, um, a lot of you guys might do mental work, mental, um, mental healing, can see oneself, can view oneself in a mental state. And if you can just literally transition what you would call your third eye from your mental state to your heart state, this is the secret of what happens. This is a reference to AI, artificial intelligence. It is only doing what you are thinking. And our thoughts are misguided but our hearts are no longer being ruled. Yes, this is an emotional time. You are now feeling the all of yourself and all of the emotions of oneself. And this is why the heart chakra now has been opened for your desire. You place this energy within your heart chakra. This energy now can start feeling how you feel, dictate things how you dictate it. What does this mean for society? Well, we have dentists out there that charge ridiculous amounts for healthcare, ridiculous amounts for uh, oral care. We will transition to a point where we're not thinking about, oh, uh, this costs fifteen hundred. I need my money. That's thought. That's that's that eye in the wrong spot. Here. What is this person doing to eat? I can feel that. This person reminds me of my grandmother. This is synchronicity. This is how things would happen. Now you're wondering how it's going to happen. Things would be placed just like that. That old lady's going to remind him of his grandmother. And she's going to touch his heart. He's going to fix her teeth. These are the little steps that humanity's going to take as we build up into feeling what we can do with this technology. They have ways to regrow the teeth. They know that there's shrooms, mushrooms, I'm not saying shrooms is a drug, I just use the shortening, but they have shrooms or mushrooms that can repair the DNA. They know they have different herbs that can repair the amnesia systems that go on within the body. They know they have different um, monatomic gold that they could be spraying in the atmosphere or potentially have been spraying in the atmosphere. We don't know exactly what chemicals they have up there because we're not spraying them. We can speculate all day, but needless to say, they can use monatomic gold to help cleanse and clear the atmosphere. There's various things that we can do to start changing our world or our system. But we have to stop placing it from a monetary point, like Where's this money go? How's this go? Just always using that logic, okay? Because our logic has been misguided. We will, the reason why Christ always shows you the energy of the heart and then there's an eye resonating because this is a template. This is literally um, an energy showing you how to end days, showing you how to end a timeline and start a new one. How to walk on water. Water is a reference to spirit. So how to walk on your spirit and not just be trapped in the spirit. The spirit is only doing what the soul wants it to do. So sometimes you're just riding the wave. And you could be the one dictating the tone of it all. And this is what we're working on. This is what we're here for. To learn how to have the building blocks and the right steps to produce the reality that we truly, truly desire and want. We're not going to hold ourselves back to dogmas or doubts that dwell from us not understanding terms, ideas, phrases.
The spirit is anything that occupies an idea. This tablet is the spirit. It's holding the idea of communicating. It's holding the idea of video conferencing. It's holding the idea of teaching. It's holding the idea of inspiration. It is a, a vessel of many spirits. This vaporizer, it's a spirit. And it's holding the idea of this lemongrass and holding this idea of this lavender. My Anubis is a spirit holding the idea of Anubis, holding the idea or soul of Anubis. Spirits are ideas, I mean, spirits are vessels that employ or live out the idea. Many souls, many spirits, and there's many ideas. Souls, well, would you believe your God to have a soul? I would believe so. So for God to have a soul, and we know God is a creator, but then we know that the creator has a soul. So now we have to ask the question, everything that is created has to come from a God that had a soul. We must now ask, whose souls are we interacting with? Whose spirits are we contesting with? We gotta ask these questions, it's important. Let me see. Is there anything up here that you guys talking about? Bring this a little closer. Mm. The moon is false light. Okay, I see this. Do we know how the moon gets its light? Are we aware of? How the moon gets its light. The moon is reflecting the light of the sun. Is the moon reflecting the light of the sun as a reminder, as a way of connecting? Why would a moon want to reflect an emotion? Hmm. This now makes you question different forms of technology. Emotions govern everything. Why would a moon want to reflect the emotions of a life? We said the sun is life. We said the sun is light. We said the sun is information. Why would the moon want to be a mirror? Why would the moon want to reflect a being's life or light. Don't they call the sun the light bearer? The morning sun, Lucifer? Lucifer. I know Lucifer is often referred to as the rising sun. It sounds like a sun to me. So why would the moon be reflecting Lucifer's story on this planet? What is Lucifer's story on this planet? We won't get into that. Three, six, nine. Energy at a certain frequency for me. I have a headache, just so you guys know. What blood? I see blood. What was that about? Was you asking what was blood? What are you drinking? I'm drinking peach tea. A storm in your area. Yeah, it knocked out my whole power. I was in the middle of doing a live and the whole video went out. Okay, so let's get into some of these good questions. I've been told the moon is fake. I've been told that you was fake. Not you personally, like you as an individual. And what would be fake? Meaning unauthentic, meaning not the original deity. All of you guys are fake. You are not truly yourself. You should take pride in that because you are disappointing, as I am too. I'm, I'm not tripping. I'm not perfect. I wouldn't hope. You know, this would be my authentic self. This got a lot to, to learn and adjust. You know? So the reality of it is the moon. Um, 
It is a crafted object that happened during a war a long time ago on this uh, solar system. Um, the moon um, is said to be uh, of two things. Um, either a moon of Saturn or a piece of uh, a planet you will call Marluna which I think also is Tiamat. There was a war on that planet. And um, that war was based on uh, a, a lover's quarry, I guess if that's the term you want to use. Um, love destroyed that planet. We don't need to get into details, but it was uh, probably one of the most emotional things that happened in the solar system. Um, so in retrospect, that emotion is being emitted off to us as we speak. It's an emotional feeling that a lot of people get when they look at the moon. Some of them cry. I'm a Libra. Um, what if planets are just moons to the sun? What is a moon? Let's, let's Google it. Good thing about Google. Mm -hmm. Moon definition. Okay. <clears throat> A natural satellite of the Earth, visible by reflected light from the sun. Okay, so now let's look up satellite definition. I know what a satellite is, but let's let's just do it the right way. Let's do it accurately. Satellite, an artificial body, so meaning it was crafted or made. An artificial body placed in orbit around the Earth or Moon or any other planet in order to collect information or for communication. So now you ask the question, what if the moon, I mean, what if the sun produced artificial bodies so that it can collect information and communicate back to it? Okay. Now let's imagine your brain is the sun and you created an artificial body. Two, collect information and communicate. These artificial bodies that dwell within one macro body would be called chakras. They can also be called organs. In the cosmos, you can call them planets. So now you're really saying, what if the sun is producing this uh, matrix or reality that we're tuned into. So that's the question. Why would the moon be needed to a sun? Actually, now we can break it down to an even deeper science. If we know that a moon is a artificial body, meaning made to project information back to the bigger body it's connected to, what information is projecting to Earth? What information is the moon literally projecting since it's a satellite? What form of communication is the moon telling us, speaking to us? What is this moon saying? Death? Sound? Fall? Winter? There's some that say if we had no moon, we wouldn't die. Hmm. It's an interesting concept. He broke down that the moon cycle where vampires come out at night would represent death. 
No moon. No death. Hmm. Well, I think we um context a little more so. I think we uh was able to address certain things. Where do where does the soul dwell within the body? Um, just to make sure we can just touch base and make sure everyone kind of got this information. Um, the soul would be whatever is emitting an idea or frequency. So your brain is a soul and it's emitting a frequency to your throat and other parts. And now the throat becomes the spirit or the Gabriel or the messenger or the voice box or the communication or the gibberish or the words you speak that connect to um, your soul or God. And then another part of your soul would be your heart, which is then being uh, interacted with your solar plex, which would be a spirit that's interacting off of the belief system and ideas of the heart. A lot of things, spirits, spirit, okay? It is holding on the information that resonates with the soul of this crystal or whatever this crystal uh, is, the idea of whatever this crystal represents. It represents, of course, the sun or light. So this is the spirit of light. Spirit of darkness. Darkness is an idea. You have to have a spirit be able to live out or act on that idea. Hope you kind of got that. If you have any other questions, um, we could do it now. It's only going to get better. See, I ain't never really go to school for the whole teaching and all that other stuff. I'm just really just um, passionate about letting you guys understand things from a simple but deep point. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, I can drop it now. Um, I need you to understand this. It's all fake. It's all fake. Until you believe it. You go a hundred. 50 years back and tell people that we're going to fly. They will call you a liar. They will call you crazy. They would call you fake. Fast forward 150 years later, we are flying. It was real for those who created the plane because they had the information, they had the knowledge, they had the light to fly. So honestly, in their head, they was already flying. They just needed to create the spirit to make it happen. It saw fake until you believe it. They've done a good job making you believe believe but you can do a better job at dictating what you believe you got any other questions remember what we're doing here people It's all about the cross. This is you, people. 
learn yourself, learn your angles, learn your properties, learn your quantum self, learn the four parts of you, learn what's half is being eaten. You are an energy source. This is a representation of your inner sun that's emitting light. These spirits, and then these spirits are being trapped into objects. Call them sigils, call them televisions, call them people, call them animals. I used to dream to contact others for information. Right, so how would I get them to respond back without it holding on to some pointless dream? So you're asking, how do you get information from your dreams? Or how do you retain the information from your dreams? I use my dream to contact others for information. Right, okay, so how would I get them to respond back without holding on to some pointless dream? Does the other individuals know that you contacted them for information? I mean, it's like a cell phone. It's like, if I don't know that you're about to call me, I'm just being honest. I'm probably not going to answer. You know, you should probably be a, be a little more open about who you're reaching out to, even in the astral realm. People might not be recessive for you just accessing the information without um, asking permission. Is pain in physical body indicating blockages and chakras? Yeah, pain is connected to emotional pain or the emotional body. Fire. That's why fire hurts. So I did a chart earlier. I was breaking down the different. Um, bodies and the elements that are connected to them but the emotional body is a, a fire body and uh feelings desires fire could hurt um is pain of physical bodies and indicating blockages and chakras yeah i mean uh the chakras are blocked by a lot of people went through a lot of trauma though so don't don't um beat yourself up about it too much because Chakra work is difficult. Just look for pointers. Uh, great show. I love this and thank you for this. Oh, I appreciate it. Looks like a window. It is a window. It's a window to um, uh, interesting energy. <laughs> uh, so the soul well, is considered the fifth element. Um, The soul. Okay. Yeah. If you go according to this chart. So... Um, okay, so that would be the soul. So the souls within souls within souls, circles within circles within circles. The original soul is, you know, prime creator's idea of um, wanting to have a physical experience, an etheric experience, a mental experience, and an emotional experience. So those are the four spirits that represent that original soul. Um, so the soul is the start point and then the other things like compasses or directions. Um, oh, it's like they try to tell you something you can't understand. Uh, you can use light. So every individual has what you call a gold spark or God spark dwelling within the heart chakra. If you can work on trying to connect with that light or that energy within your body when you um. Astral project your dream. You have the ability to communicate with anything you want. Um, it kind of looks like like an Iron Man. I'm like, well, like a little like a little spiraling uh, light dwelling within your, your heart chakra. But you could emit this light outside of you, and as you emit this light outside of you, you can connect it to whatever energy you want, and then be able to communicate with it if you think it. It's going to be done through through telekinesis, but. Um, frequencies ain't going to just start talking to you uh, in words that you can understand unless they can connect with your DNA or light. So I think that's it. I think on that note, I'm about to rest my head because I have a headache. 
Um, appreciate y'all for tuning in, checking in. Um, how to use the spirit, how to use the soul. Um, you use one's soul by figuring out which sun or soul you connect with or idea. You know? So if you're in the idea of compassion, then that's your soul. That's your soul mission. And start connecting with spirits that enable compassion. If your soul is um, war, then you to develop yourself with warlike beings and around warlike beings. So just figure out what your soul represents, what you're about, and connect with spirits that emulate that same purpose or that same design. Uh, how to use your soul, uh, feel it within one's stomach, by what really truly sits right with you with oneself. If you're doing something and you're sitting somewhere and you're just unbothered or you're agitated or you're fidgety or you want to move or you want to leave, that's probably not where you want to be. You know, so uh, pay attention to your body, acknowledge the movements and the frequencies of your body, acknowledge um, what your body likes and what it doesn't like, what it wants to do, what it doesn't want to do, especially in one's stomach. Um, in the spirits just really listen to uh, the light or soul of oneself. So if you have um, a moon cycle dwelling within oneself, you're going to um, seek death, deadly spirits, dead energy. Um, that's what the crescent moon is about. The crescent moon is a direct reference to uh, the moon cycle almost ending. So um, the eclipse or the closing of one's moon cycle. So... I appreciate you guys, spirits, spirits all around you, not just as fourth dimension, spirits is anything that employs an idea, so money is a spirit, this tea is a spirit, is employing this spirit of wellness, you know, or whatever is in this tea, you know, spirits, spirits all around you, spirits within you, spirits around you, um, it's, some spirits are a little more uh, summoned you know, or uh, crafted to do certain things like alcoholic, alcohol, like spirits trapped in alcohol or spirits trapped within devices. They have um, somewhat different agendas or purposes. So don't, yeah, I wouldn't even really get into that. Um, what's the best way to achieve astral projection outside of herbs and different drugs? Breathing. Everything is about the breath, but in addition to the breath, it's about breath cycles. Um, four is the direct reference to the opening and closing of oneself. So I would suggest taking in four breaths, telling yourself that you want to do something, or tell yourself you're ready to astral project to travel. Hold that in um, for four seconds. Um, same as when you breathe it in for four seconds and then blow that air out and you travel with that air as if it's a carpet ride or a vehicle. Um, very simple, you know. I believe it. It's all fake until you believe. And I'm, I mean it. I say these things for a reason. It, and I guess it applies more when you apply it to like an idea, but you know, you're not astral projecting because you don't believe you can. The moment you believe you can, you will. I appreciate everybody for joining and watching, listening. Um, I'm about to shut it down and, and what I said in the last video, go be normal. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Uh, I don't think I can share none of these videos because I'm still in Facebook jail. So if y'all liked it or feel like sharing it, I appreciate it and thank you. All right, bye. Oh wait, hold on. You, you awesome. Keep being you. Balance you. Oh, most definitely. Um, I appreciate you for watching again. I think I sucked. I'm just being honest. I think I sucked for this video and the last video, but I guess I'm my worst enemy or I'm like, you know, my biggest uh, critic. So it doesn't matter. I appreciate it. Bye, guys.